Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Home Mess Tom, and today we will be doing a new makeup nonsense bingo. My dog has arrived. If you're not familiar with new makeup nonsense bingo, it originated with Emily Hanhan and Teresa is dead. It was like a collab with both of them. And now Spooky Lips and Fat Hips and Audra at Home <laughs> are also part of the main gang. And I am just tagging along. Uh, because I do I like to look at these new releases just, you know, to, uh, I do these videos, but not with bingo and alcohol. I have some audacity to be recording this at um, 9.30 p.m. on a Monday, but we are. I have Justin Bieber here in a, like a little holographic cup from his bowl cut days. I have rum. And Diet Dr. Pepper because I'm trashed. So there's that. These are going to be the products that I may or may not talk about this evening while I'm recording or whenever you're watching. today. All right, let's get started. I guess I need a random number. I just started. I'm not drunk. So the first thing that I got is the Elf X Chipotle collection. Now, say what you will, whatever, right? Uh, <clears throat> I don't exactly want to be cynical about this, but it's like, whatever. It's like the palette is whatever. It really is. Like, I guess those shades are fine. They're all very usable. It's, it's very, like, I feel like I could have made the look that I did. To, the look. Why am I, am I going through puberty right now? I am 30 years old. It is too late for that. Lord, if you're listening, if you exist. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, is that like a, there's like a duochrome in there. Okay, interesting. The, the bag is cute. The bag is cute. I wouldn't put makeup in it. I would want to use it as a lunch bag. But I don't think it's insulated. I am like riding on a voice crack. What is happening? Okay, first of all. I would say I don't need a plumping lip gloss, but I'm also currently wearing a plumping lip gloss, so... I can't count that out. I kind of wish I had a little bit more of a tint to it, but I realized I don't want full coverage, full coverage, full coverage gloss. Is that what we're saying? I don't think I want that. So no, thank you. I don't know. It's uninspired. <clears throat> Elf could do collabs with anyone, I guess. And like, this is what we're getting. Oh, no, I did. I just liked the photo on accident. I didn't want that trend mood. No, thank you. The sponge is cute, though. I kind of wish there was an insert for the inside of the sponge, like the inside of the avocado, the avocado pit. I know that doesn't make sense from a makeup point of view, but this collection also doesn't make sense. Therefore, I think we're safe. We could have done that. We could have done that for me. Ah, it's going to go on the food-themed makeup item. I, how do you guys keep track of this? I am acting brand fucking new. So the next thing I rolled was the Jaclyn Hill liquid lipsticks and lip liners. No, thank you. No, thank you. It's a, it's pass. Um, Whatever. I don't care about this woman. I don't know why the internet continues to care about this woman. I don't think there's a need to be uh, mean about this woman, but this woman should be held accountable for the actions that she's taken against us, the, the beauty community. I came into the makeup game a little bit too late to like have fallen in love with Jacqueline at the beginning. She was, a, she's a, obviously she's a creator but I, a creator that I never got involved with because I started doing make my 
I started doing makeup in 2016 and I was like, thought I was too cool for like the popular, popular beauty tubers. Like that's whatever. I wasn't, but I never really, I always felt like a, a strange fakeness with Jaclyn Hill. And then she kind of proved me right <laughs> throughout her, um, uh, tenure as a uh, someone in the makeup community especially the, we focus so much on lipstick gate which yes was a thing that happened and yes she needs to take accountability for I agree how ever more than 50% of the launches that Jaclyn Hill was involved with have gone awry it's not just that lipstick one the first one was with Becca not the champagne pop but the Next collection she did with Becca. I don't remember what it was called. I'm not a historian. And then she did the vault collection with Morphe. And then that went awry. And then the lipsticks, that went awry. And then I felt like she was surprised when she was like, okay, I'm going to put out these mystery boxes. And people were like, no, thank you. You're going to have to show us what's in those before we buy them. Ruining the mystery. True. But also warranted criticism. And now, whatever. And I don't care. I don't want a liquid lipstick. I It is not 2016. I have a couple liquid lipsticks, but it's not the thing I'm reaching for in my... I go straight for the glasses. And I realize that that's also on trend right now. But, like, I think my lips are tired. I had enough time with liquid lipsticks. And I have moved past it. Uh... Also, I, I don't mind that the fact that these are all like beige and pinky neutrals and browns. Like that's that's going to sell the most anyway, even if she had colors that were like fun. But I, I, I do think that maybe uh, we're missing a red. Like everyone wants a red, you know, or I think your line should have its red. But that's just I think there's let me let me let me look at my bingo card. Let me let's grandpa look. I Oh my god, I don't think I have one. Okay. I think I'm I think I'm out on this one. I don't I don't see one that I can put this under. So unfortunate, but let's move along. Up so up next is from Melt Cosmetics. It is their cream blush lights. So I got tagged in this post by my friend because I love I famously love a blush. I famously love an orange blush. If I see an orangey blush, I am beelining it for it. I don't need another one. I have five or six. I don't need it. I don't need it. But I want one. However, let me, like, looking at this, these photos of it, to me, there are five here that look very similar in photos. And then there's like a deeper, like red ish shade. And then there are two pinks, but everything else is like beigey. Maybe there's different undertones, but they look beigey. I'm like 100% sure I'd have to see these in person before I make a call because the boxes look very different color wise. Okay, there are swatches on this set, set of photos that I'm looking at. And they, now they don't look as... They, but in the pan, they looked very similar. So there's that. Some of these are very shiny. And I, like, don't, like... Obviously, I like a cheek that has some gloss to it. But I don't know. Those look very shiny. Like, maybe more shiny than I want to go for a blush. But you know what? Probably not. I want to touch these. I want to feel them. Okay, why did this picture sell me? Like, why... That's clearly an advertisement photo. I don't know why I was like, yes, it's going to look like that on me. Anyway, would love to try this. Okay, I'm going to put this on, put it on. No, I wasn't really that excited for it, but I, I do want to put it on my face. So I am going to use it for the put it on my face. Bingo card. Bingo. Next. I felt like Teresa in this moment. I was like, next. Or like I'm on that um, MTV show from the 90s, the early thousands, maybe not the 90s. I'm not that old. But I play one on TV. All right. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, yeah! So the next thing I pulled is the tote, tote? I can never say this line correctly. It is the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. I always say shart, shart tape shape, because for whatever reason, I fucking yard sard this shit every time I try to say it. Yard sard, you know. Anyway, so this is apparently supposed to be like the, the creamier version of the Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape was one point my destiny, and now I have moved past that as my destiny, and now I like other concealers. But it was never my ride or die like it was for the YouTube community in 2016 or whenever this launched. Uh, I I used to work at Sephora. In case you don't know, hi, I'm hi, I'm new here. <laughs> so um, I didn't use this product a lot because we didn't carry it in the store. And no one explicitly says you have to wear makeup that we carry at Sephora. But it is highly encouraged in case someone likes what you're wearing on your face. So you can be like, oh, and that is this. I had to lie a lot because I like both indie brands or brands that um, Sephora didn't carry. Or I'd be wearing like something that my store didn't have in store. Like my store didn't carry Pat McGrath, but I have a lot of Pat McGrath in my collection. So that was annoying. Anyway, that is fully beside the point. I'm getting off topic here. Here's the thing. I hope it works, right? I hope, I hope, I hope that for people who wanted a creamy or full coverage under eye, I hope that works for them. Like, I want it to be good. Not because I like tart and I'm like partial to tart, but I think there's a whole probably group of people who felt like they were excluded from using the shape tape or use the shape tape already and they have to like really do some work to make it work for them, like put some moisturizer on, mix it with some other things. I'm like, that's very annoying. So I hope the formula is good. Like, I hope this works out. However, um, this is not something that I need or am particularly excited about. <laughs> I don't know if this counts for this, but this is what I'm putting it on. I'm going to put it under a collab slash product that won't die because we had shape tape concealer. We had shape tape foundation. I feel like they have a whole shape tape range. I guess that's not a collab. I lied. I'm not good at this game. Let's see how many colors are there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 35 shades isn't the worst. I can't see the whole spectrum. So I don't actually know if the shade range is good. And I don't feel like seeking it out because I particularly don't care to. Uh, I don't think I can, I don't think I have anything for this one. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move along. <laughs> so the next thing I pulled is the Dior, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, no powder. So I, it, ugh. blurs imperfections, love, reduces shine, beautiful, invisibly, evens out the complexion for a luminous matte finish. That feels contradictory, but okay, live your zhuzh. This compact powder is infused with a gel base. Gel? Okay. Why would I use this on my body? I feel like, is this a question that no one's asking but me? Now, I, I mean, I realize that body makeup is a thing, but unless this pan is this big, I'm not using it on my body. I, I feel like if it's not supposed to like add too much coverage, for a Lux brand, this shade range is not super garbage, to be quite honest, because there's only like three or so shades for each. It's like three light, three fair, three light, three like medium, three deep. I don't know. Interesting. I don't know why they're swatching 6N on a light person. I don't know. Anyway, how many shades are there? There's nine. Um, you know, whatever. I don't know that that's like the worst because if it's not, I don't think you need that many shades for something like this. Because to be fair, there's some brands that only have three setting powder shades. So, okay, whatever. I hate that brush. 
I hate that brush. I don't know if that's a, they're calling that a new brush, but there has definitely been a brush in the Dior line that has been shaped like that for a very long time. And I hate it. I don't like, why is it like that? Why is it shaped like that? I'm not, ooh, I hate that brush. No, thank you. But I'm intrigued by this. I, because of Teresa, I am waiting for Shantakai to bring their translucent blurring powder, their blurring powder back, because I'm interested in that. And I also hope it comes back with new shades too. It's not just the one. So that's going to be the next Lux powder I want to buy because I know it's supposed to come back because both Teresa and Michelle Wong have said that it's like coming back. They just don't know when or what, you know? So anyway... Um, okay. I think I have to make a decision. Where am I putting this? Where am I putting this? It is pretty. I'm going to put this on pretty embossing basic makeup just so I can like literally put set down because so, I down for something. Oh my God. I cannot talk. I am not even drunk. Also today when I was putting my contacts in, I had like made dinner. I like put my contacts in for this because I'm a nerd, but I had cooked with hot peppers tonight. And like I washed my hands, but like probably not good enough. And then I put my contacts in. A nightmare. Ooh, no, I don't like this one. Oh, I don't like this one. Okay, so next up from Ciate London, we have the I Am Woman eyeshadow palette. Stop. Ciate, just stop. You had the glitter flips, which I hated. And that was like what brought you into the scene. That's like what made people pay attention to you. I'm pretty sure that's like the last thing I remember you putting out that people were like, that's interesting. Even though Sugar Pill had a similar idea that's more comfortable and works better. Full stop. Full stop. They've had trinket for a very long time and it's a very similar concept anyway beyond your terrible glitter flips it doesn't even feel well intentioned to me it doesn't feel well intentioned to me first of all there aren't that many deep shades in the palette right right uh they put frida kahlo's name in this palette which no not only that they put her on a matte cream shade. Um, no, 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 no. Ella Fitz, ugh, no. Cleopatra. The U, the U, the U. Pan, no thank you. No, this is just, this palette is like maybe the end of the, 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 the hump straw that broke the camel's back for me but I think we need to stop naming eyeshadows uh, we should just start using a grid system <laughs> it's like row one column one <laughs> because I can't I just this palette is obviously gonna go as like my my boring palette or cash grab it's either one but uh I hope you are paying the um estates of all of these women you've listed something because no <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing I don't know if any money's going to anything but this is bad this is really bad I don't even care if the formula is good right because it's like I don't know because everyone's still trying to capitalize off of the color story of modern renaissance and I'm not saying that modern renaissance is even the best at that color story at this point like I think that I think that a lot of other brands have like done more interesting color stories that were similar to modern renaissance so i'm not even saying that like that but like this is not it sis no and i am all about women i'm all about feminism but this is this isn't it this isn't it okay we'll just put it on the basic af neutral uh neutral palette okay so next up we have the nubian glow lip balms from juvia's place i have not tried anything from juvia's place yet not for lack of want or maybe because of lack of want. I find 
not the color stories, but just the look of their palettes, so unappealing. The pans are so big. Anyway, we're not talking about the eyeshadows. Let's talk about this lip product because, mama, it is 10.04 on a Monday. Going up on a Monday. There's a couple different flavors, little juicy flavors. I assume these have, like, the hint, the hintiest hint of a tint. I am not a lip balm girl. Like, I do use lip balm, but I don't need, be, I don't need it be. I don't need it to be exciting. I don't need it to be exciting. No, I don't. I truly don't. Uh, like, I like the pharmacy one. That one's my jam. These are like fine. The packaging is fine. The, uh, how much do they want for these? I'm moving on from this. I like, literally don't even want to talk about it because I'm not even that interested in it because it's lip balm. I saw Audra put this on yet another lip gloss. And you know what? I'm just riding those coattails because no, no, I, I don't. I uh, it was so not worth my time that I don't. It don't it just, okay. So the next thing I got was from Shine by SD, the Willow Wisp bundle with M Jones. Am I taking a selfie in the middle of my video? Of course I am. I'm gay. I don't know who M. Jones is, but congratulations on your collab. I think indie brand collabs are so cool. I have fulfilled my fantasy with like multi-chromes and shifty colors. I have almost the whole stained class collection from Cleona. And I... As unreasonable I, as I am about makeup, to get that collection to the the size that I have gotten it, 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 one was very expensive, two took a very long time and a lot of patience because things like this go out of stock so fast because they're indie brands and they're like much smaller. <laughs> Sorry, my friend is texting me. I texted her that I was like getting ready at 8.30 and she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I really don't know. I don't know. I just want to be friends with all of the people who do this. So I just am like trying to include myself and ride the coattails of their success, you know? Anyway, I think these are cool. Uh, I like the infinity shade. It reminds me I have a Lemonhead LA like invisible highlight where you turn your head and it like is purple. And then when you're not facing it, it is no longer purple. So these are fun. But like I said, not my destiny I think I have filled my, not that I don't love multi-chromes. I'd be very interested in them if I didn't feel like I had something similar. But I'm going to put this on all the multi-chromes. <laughs> yes, God. All right. Next. From Oma Beauty, which is how I heard everyone else say it, but I, I don't really know. It's spelled interestingly. Uh, and... Famously, I like to pronounce everything in French, even though I'm not a bit French and I took French from eighth grade to ninth grade, eighth grade to 10th grade. As soon as I did not have to take a language anymore, I stopped and I took it again in college because I had to. Anyway, we have some face palettes. They look, the big eyeshadow palette with the bigger pans has like a major Pat McGrath vibes. The smaller, ooh, what is that neon green doing in that lighter one? Okay, I don't love that. The darker palette, I guess, is pretty. I'm not inspired by any of this particularly. I think the packaging is beautiful, though. So there's that. Uh, if anything, I would probably buy one of the lipsticks from this collection. I really don't care that I've never seen Coming to America. Before anyone comes for me, I don't watch movies, really. So... <laughs> Don't get it. Please don't get offended. I just don't watch movies and don't recommend me to watch movies because then I definitely won't watch them because the second you tell me to do something, I will absolutely not be doing it. No, ma'am, Pam. No. Is it the Scorpio in me? I don't know. I don't know what astrology is, but it feels like a Scorpio thing to do because considering no one likes Scorpios. Is that the vibe? <laughs> I don't really know. I am just going to pick a space to put this. I think this is. We'll do we'll do a collab with someone not known for their makeup because I don't want I don't like don't feel inspired to talk about this either. It's fine. So the next thing I pulled is the Muse 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 Muse. Wait, is it Muse Muse? <laughs> 
<laughs> here I was just like, I pronounce everything in French. And I'm like, is that how they say it? You say beauty. It, it, ooh. This color story is like not what I was expecting it to be. Because I had to go to Musée Beauty's Instagram to look at it. Based out of Texas. Interesting. Really? Interesting. Okay. So we have like purples and we have like pinks going into red and then we have green. I feel like the pastel y, like, ooh, and a oop. I think. What's my hair doing? Whatever. I haven't washed it in weeks. So there's that. Anyway, don't come for me. I wash my hair once a month. I don't care. Okay. It's pretty. It's cute. We're getting like major Easter vibes, which I am fine with that. Uh, I don't find any of these. I don't find any of this particularly ex expiring. Insp inspiring. The, uh, the Dahlia shade is pretty and the Begonia. Begonia. Are these just flower names? I don't know anything about flowers, even though I have one flower tattooed on my body. Well, I have a series of one type of... Oh my god, I am trying to get this to be... There you go, so you can't see that. This this isn't for me. This isn't for me. I have... I... I have, like... I feel like I have... I have... No, I feel like I have fulfilled my bright, colorful quota in my collection right now. And I'm really buying, I'm going green heavy right now with what I'm buying. And I don't know if that's just because that's what I want to be, but like that's what I'm wearing a lot is green. <laughs> like cam and camel, like camel colors. Oh, can't get enough. I just bought the Metropolis palette. I don't even care that other people don't like it. I had a real good time playing with it today. It was my first time playing with it. I shouldn't be allowed to look at myself in a monitor. I turn into a full ass Alyssa Edwards every time I look. I'm like, mm. oh, look at him. Mm, it's almost a rainbow palette, but I feel like that's like really stretching it. Mm, 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 it's not neutral to blah, blah, blue. I don't know that it really qualifies. There's like most of the rainbow in there. We got like, we're good. Like that's like, we're only missing like a couple colors there. Let's move on. <laughs> So next up, we have Fenty Hair. Watching everyone else look at this photo and go, wait, what are we talking about? It's Fenty Hair. Listen, I don't have that much hair. And you clearly just heard me say that I wash my hair once a month. So I'm like very low maintenance with my hair. And like, I just like use a sea salt spray or a texturing spray whenever I feel like it needs a good zhuzh. I shower a lot though. Not like too much. Not like wasting water much. But like, I like shower after I work out. And I work out almost every day. So, okay. I don't know why I'm justifying my bathing habits <laughs> to you. It's just my hair that I don't, like, I don't get fussy with it. I go to the barber. I wash it before I go to the barber so he doesn't have to deal with messy hair. And that's it. And I go to the barber once a month. That is what it is. You're welcome, ma'am. I mean, I think there's, like, a lot, especially if it's going to come to Sephora. If, I, I, I mean, all of her other stuff has been inclusive, so I assume this will be too. So I hope she nails it. And it is what people who want it want it to be. It is going to be a new influencer brand. Wow, wow, wow. The next product I have on my card is the House Labs The Edge Precision Brow Pencil. Is this like a reference to The Edge of Glory? Because like what uh, you could do a lot more with that. Anyway, let me talk about this product. I think the fact that Miss Gaga has catered to some red undertones, like real red, real red pencils for some people, because those are hard to come by. It is what it is. I know that ABH has added to their line, but Benefit definitely doesn't have anything like this. And that's what most people go to brow wise. So I commend her. For this release. The thing is, I guess I'm not going to go to like Lady Gaga's brand for a brow pencil. And I would sooner go to the drugstore for a brow product. Considering I don't have eyebrows, <laughs> that's a choice. 
just so you know. Like, I, I just don't want them. I just shave them off in case I change my mind. So it's not like I'm pulling them at the root that they're not going to grow back. It's fine. I get five o'clock shadow with my eyebrows. So there's that. That's a fact. 13 shades. That's like pretty extensive. I'm not going to Miss Gaga for any of her makeup. One, because it's through Amazon. And I don't care for Amazon. I do my best to buy my products anywhere but Amazon. Um... I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I think I've maybe bought like three, maybe three things through Amazon in the past year. So I'm doing pretty good avoiding them at most costs. And I don't, I don't subscribe to Prime. My brother does. So I just steal his whenever I need it. I just find her makeup brand like overall uninspiring, but I think this is a good release. But I also don't think she has enough other staple products in her collection for this to be what we did. I think if she like maybe had like foundations or blushes or something or I don't know anything else before this it's just weird it seems weird that we went from like eyeshadows boring eyeshadows um and eyeliners and lip pencils and lip products and then we're just like okay here's I don't know it's just like not expiring anyway this might be a stretch but I'm gonna put this under same shit new packaging because the micro pencil for the eyebrows exists in many other brands this is the Rugrats Funko Taste Beauty collab. That's three things. Collabing. Anyway, that's a lot of collabs. One, don't pick up the phone. I listened to Dua Lipa. Uh, this Angelica palette is a monstrosity among monstrosities. I don't know how big this thing is, but it looks like enormous. It looks so big. Now, if, you know, if Trend, Trend Mood could help me out and, like, put dimensions in, that looks huge. And then there's well, there's six shades in it, and it is. It's very boring. It's very boring. It's very boring. And I don't want to, like, elaborate on that because many of my my peers, my peers here doing this uh, new makeup, Bingo, fun, monstrosity, nonsense, bingo. I've harped on this. The one thing that I don't think anyone's touched on, I realize this is like the Funko Pop design. That Tommy Pickles head doesn't look like Tommy Pickles. There is no defining features on this Tommy Pickles Funko Pop head to make me think that that's Tommy Pickles. It just is scary. It is scary. It is like whenever in Toy Story they go to Sid's house. It's like one of those toys. I guess it's lip gloss. Ew, and then you're going to have to like hold its head whenever you put on your lip gloss. Ew, no, thank you. The reptile one is cute though, but they kind of look like Pez dispensers. So I think I would get confused with my Pez dispenser in my bag. You don't have a Pez dispenser in your bag? That's your loss. It's fun. There's just pellets at the bottom of your bag. I haven't carried a bag in a year because I don't go anywhere. Uh, this is gross. I hate this. No, thank you. I feel like I already used... Uh... I'm going to put this under a true cash graba because this is garbage, mama. So this is the Hindash Beautopsy palette. Now... I have like, in, I have so many thoughts about this, but none at all simultaneously. I want this. <laughs> um, is it, Can I buy it yet? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so because I like signed up for the mailing list. There is something so beautifully appealing about this palette to me. It is all mattes, which is fine by me because again, I can play... I could use these mattes in a, with my Cleona shadows. Like, I, I don't mind a companion palette. I am totally not. And I also like a matte look that's just beautifully blended out. It's just so, so good. So good. So good. I watched the video. I watched Hindash talk about this on his channel. I watched him introduce the product. Uh, the, 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 I, I imagine this would have had to been so hard to formulate. I, I think of those um, Kevin O'Quan blushes and bronzers that uh, they did I I don't I think this palette is so pretty 
I think this would take, there's a huge learning curve with this, right? Because there's, the pants are gradient. And so like for you to like mix and match your shades, which I think would be a lot of fun. But I also don't know how like consumer friendly this product is. And even as someone who like likes to tout myself as a makeup artist, I think like I would have a learning curve with this. But I like the idea. I have, I, I would, I would like to see the product being held by someone. Oh, there's a hand next to it. So those hands look huge next to this person's arm. So, it, and you can use it for face. I don't know. I think I could have, I think I could fuck some shit up with this. I think this is actually really cool. Actually, if it was already on sale, I probably would have bought it already. I like, I want to fuck with this. Like, if nothing else, I'm so... I fancy it so much that I just like need to, I just, even if I think I hate it, I would hate it. I, there's something about it that I just am like, I want to touch that. Right. And I'm not going to be able to buy it anywhere, but through his website, I'm pretty sure. So I'm like, I'm going to buy it, but it, it, it's very on brand for Hindash because he does like these beautiful, clean looks with just very, it's very simple, but elegant. And, and I'm not even saying like too simple, because he does some graphic like liner shit that's really well blended. That's like the difference. It's like he does some like graphic shit and it's blended. I don't know that that makes sense, but you know what I mean? Uh, and I like how deep it goes. I feel like that everyone could use it. So actually I'm very into it. Also, I want to swatch. I want to be able to do a swatch like that gradient swatch on that arm. Like I want to figure out how to do that. I'm going to put it with Drunk Me would buy it. Sober Me would also buy it. Drunk me would definitely buy it. Drunk me? Zooted me? 100%. I'm like so close on so many fronts with my bingo card. Like, where is, where is the bingo? Ooh, ooh, ooh. We went from one ombre product to another. So these are the Moira Cosmetics. Ombre blush. Simple. I like that. See, we went from... Ciate naming everything so dumb. Not naming everything. All of those women are amazing. But like making some choices to this, which is just like, it's an ombre blush. And I'm like, you know what, sis, it is. Uh, these are stun. These are stunning. And I, they're $9. I want one. I'm going to, I'm probably going to buy one. I'm not going to buy one right now. I'm not going to buy one on camera. No, thank you. No, thank you. Because it is 1030 on a Monday. In the night. In the night. These are stunning. I don't know how, I don't, I love blush. This giggles my gaggle. This does some things for me. Like, woo! And that one that goes from like yellow to white to pink. Whoa! Mm, gorge, stun, amazing. I, ooh, and that red, red orange one. Oh, the purple one. Okay. <laughs> the nudie one. Okay. These are so pretty. What I'm going to do. And I'm going to wait for people to talk about these because um, they're so pretty. And the embossing's even pretty for like $9. Ooh, I, I can't do anything with this. I can't do anything with this. This is sad. I'm like also getting tired and I'm getting a little bit drunk, a little bit tipsy. So it's a little, a little this way. Ooh, next up is the Aqua, 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 <laughs> Aqua Marine palette from BH Cosmetics. This is like an ongoing thing with BH Cosmetics that releases like one of these terrible palettes every month. I have no issues with blue eyeshadow, but like I also do. So I have just some like, if I'm putting blue in my look, it's like, it's gotta be so specific. It's gotta be so specific. And typically I'm probably going to use like a blue eyeliner and do something graphic with it as opposed to like using blue eyeshadow. Like in any way, I haven't tried BH Cosmetics. I've heard great things. That green is pretty. <laughs> of course it is. Because I just told you that like I'm all about green right now. So much green in my collection. I bring it, so much green. I'm bringing it in. I am. Bringing in, the, bringing in the green. I'm not bringing in the green. But like this is a stretch. But your girl is tired. And your girl is drunk. Okay. Okay. This reminds me so much of that new Trixie palette. I'm just going to put major copycat vibes, even though I don't think that that's how that really went, but they look very similar to me the way I'm remembering the Trixie palette when I've seen it. 
in my head. All right, so I got the super, like, next up is, oh god, next up is the super dewy, this is hard, <laughs> the super dewy liquid blushes from Makeup Revolution. Uh, they're $7 each or three for two. Okay, these are, like, fine. I don't love a liquid blush. I had a cloud paint from Glossier and I was just like, I don't know why people like this. Now I love a cream blush. Love a cream blush. I'm into it. I'm into it. Now I believe Lacey, they also said that they love a cream blush. And I was like, yes, sis, I'm with you. Like, I love that for us. But like the second like it's too liquidy, I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. I have flashbacks to the cover effects drops, which I never figured out how to use, like the glowy, like the found like the highlighty ones. Couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure it out. Not my journey. Not my destiny. So I feel that very similar way to this. Although like the price point is very good, but I've never tried anything for makeup revolution. Oh my god. I feel like so bougie right now. I'm like, I haven't tried any of this drugstore shit. Uh, it's just I haven't had the need to. I I when I quit Sephora, I like fell in love with makeup again. But I also have so much makeup that I accumulated through gratis at Sephora that it wasn't really necessary for me to like buy a bunch of new stuff. But like cause like because foundation just kind of came with the job. Anytime someone released a foundation, I would end up getting the foundation, and like I'm very thankful for that. It's like one of the best perks of working at Sephora is getting gratis. And like, I think the only thing I really ever bought while working there was like eyeshadows. And then everything else just came through gratis. Like this plumping lip gloss came through gratis. Do you know what I mean? Like everything just came through gratis. Anyway, how did I even get to this? What was I even talking about? Oh, I don't shop at like drugstore. I feel, I, I, well, not even now. I was like, maybe now that I don't work at Sephora, I'll like revisit drugstore. No, it's not even true. I've bought so much not drugstore stuff since I left Sephora. Because it's weird. It's interesting. That's an interesting psychological thing that we could dive into on another episode. Um, on another episode? In another video? I really do be thinking that I am out here writing full episodes of a television show. Now, I did write a script for my Armani review with Giorgio Armani foundation review and I'm gonna link that down below because actually I put a lot of work into that and I would really appreciate if you would check it out okay anyway I think for they have five shades yeah these are all very like pretty shades it seems like that someone could get something that they want if they wanted from this like there, there's something for everyone uh but it's not it's not it, I, it's not a bad concept. That pink one, though. Teresa says she's buying it. And I said, that's not my journey. Uh, yeah, no. It's so funny. I get so hype about, like, powder and cream blushes. But this? This is not it. But, and I'm mad. No, I'm not going to buy this. Wow. They, you know, I, like, was, I've been, you know, been watching people do this. These, uh, makeup nonsense bingos. No makeup nonsense? What is this called? What am I doing? New makeup nonsense. I was like, I think there's another word. Okay. And I was like, man, they really do be buying shit on the spot. And now I'm like looking at these and I'm like, that's only $14. I don't need that. I buy so much blush. I And also I would sooner buy the Moira or the Melt ones before I would Buy this. Also, the Sephora sale is right around the corner, and I think I could do that. But I think I just hit bingo. I think I did. Makeup revolution, go away. That sounds good to me. We've hit bingo. So I'm gonna release everyone. Release. I'm gonna link everyone who is su superiorly, supremely. All the people. We have Miss Audra at home. We have Miss Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. We have Miss Teresa is dead, but she's very much alive. And we have Emily Han Han. I almost said Ham Ham, and I'm like 100% sure that was wrong.
all of these people, these beautiful, wonderful people, they do it. So go check out their videos if you didn't think I was fun. They are certainly fun. Maybe I'm not your destiny, but maybe they're your destiny. Or if I am your destiny, hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you. I have been posting regularly recently, and I have been enjoying it. I have been enjoying making content, again, for the first time in a very long time, in a way that doesn't feel overwhelming to me. And it feels great. And that's not on you. That's on me. That's my journey and my destiny. So I'm sorry for putting that on you. I also host two podcasts with my girl, Tiffany. It Bears a Reading is your pop culture expansion pack. We do deep dives, honey, on things that happen in pop culture, people, places, things, nouns, verbs, adjectives. And they're all there. So go check that out. And then if you love music and you love listening to the radio in like the 90s and the thousands, it's called Recollect. We talk about top 10 hits on the Billboard Hot 100 from various weeks, from various years. We've been diving into the 80s recently, so that's been a lot of fun. And that's in our Patreon. It's only $3 a month for four episodes, so it's a pretty good time. Go check it out. Like, And it's like a sing sang any song. We like have a good sing-along time. We scream from the top of our lungs, but that's just like our general MO. So check those out. I'll have those linked down below. I also have an Instagram if you want to look at how pretty I am. Or my dog. Anyway, I'm gonna go wash my face and go to bed immediately. We sprung an hour forward, so it's only like 6 p.m. Why did I do that? That was so cringe. Okay, I'm leaving. I canceled. <laughs>